Have you ever found an art show that you love doing? The first year you ever sold there, it was the highest sales numbers that you've ever had. And then a few years down the road, the sales numbers start to dwindle. And then you start to ask yourself, when do I stop doing the show? Should I keep going or should I trade it up for a different show on the same weekend? Because if you've been looking around on Zapplication or other websites that advertise art fairs, I'm sure you've realized right away that there are tons of different shows and a lot of them happen on the same weekends. And so you have to decide which shows to do and which shows to skip. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I figured out over the years of doing art fairs I've been doing art fairs full-time for the last 10 years, so I've had a lot of shows that have started to dwindle in sales. Last weekend I set up my booth at one of these shows. Now it wasn't the worst show that I've had ever, but it wasn't that great. It was a show that used to be so good. It's a festival, a music festival specifically, and I don't show my art at many music festivals, but this one it's close to me, it's within driving distance so I don't have to pay for hotels, and it's good vibes all around. My sales are usually fairly good, but this year I made about half of what I normally do. And what I've noticed over the last eight years of selling my art at this event is over time, my sales have slowly decreased. And this year was made even worse because the weather was extreme. The heat index was 107 on three of the days, which is super hot. I usually never sell my work in that much heat because what I've learned is anything over 90 degrees and people don't really want to buy art. At least that's my experience. If you've had a different experience and know how to sell to people in really high temperatures, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. But for me, that's one of my rules of thumb is to not do hot shows because people don't want to buy and I really don't want to be there either. I mean, who wants to suffer it out in an art fair tent in that much heat? Nobody. And so this was the problem with the show. Plus it was really windy. So there was like a big dust storm and I had dust get all over my artwork. I had my Swiffer out dusting everything. It got so bad that I had to take original paintings off the wall, just pack them in my van because I couldn't risk getting more dust on them. All of these factors made me not want to ever go back to this show again. But the thing that really hit it home for me and the big lesson I think that you can take away from this is not don't do a show because you're miserable at it, but it's this. Okay, so people were coming into my booth, previous customers, lots of them. And since it's a music festival, a lot of the same people attend every year. Now, I used to think people would buy my work as a souvenir year after year, but I had a lot of people coming in my booth saying, yeah, I have eight of your pieces from previous years. I just don't know where I'm going to hang any more artwork. And then I started realizing that I may have reached market saturation at this particular show. If you're unfamiliar with the term market saturation, it's basically that I've sold so much work to all of the people who really want to buy my type of artwork already at the event that they don't need any more or they don't want as many pieces as they used to. And the real bread and butter of my art business is selling $17.99 prints where they buy three and get a fourth one free. And this allows me to upsell customers when they come in my booth. But if they've already bought a lot of my artwork, they're probably not gonna do the buy three, get one free deal. If they don't do that, I don't make as much money. If they buy just one print, I mean, that's a lot of people that have to come into my booth and buy a print for me to get up to a three or $4,000 show level. And that's what I wanna do at minimum on a show is make three or $4,000 in sales. Ideally, I'd like to do a show where I could make six, seven, even $10,000 in sales. So what I do when I decide whether or not I'm gonna to continue to do a particular show that I've been doing for years, I start to look at my sales numbers year after year. And then I keep an ear out for how many customers who are entering my booth say I already bought last year. And if there's not enough new customers coming in that are different from prior years to give me fresh buyers for my art print deal, I decide that it's time to move on to a new show the next year. Now I've heard other artists use a different method. Some people cycle on and off shows every four or five years. That way they never fully saturate the market. And some artists don't have to worry about saturating the market. That's another really valid point to make. If you are an artist and you're selling all originals, and let's say you only sell 15 paintings per show, or maybe even 10 paintings, you're probably never going to saturate the market at 
any show because there are so many buyers coming to these shows and so many new people. In fact, if you are selling all originals and you only sell a few of them at each show, it actually might be better for you to stick with the same shows. That way you build up a reputation at the show and people are coming to the show looking to buy your work because they know this is the only time they can buy your originals. It's an exclusivity situation. And I've seen lots of seasoned artists doing this approach exactly. And so don't think that you have to cycle on and off shows or that if you have a bad year you can't try going back the next year and then it might not be better again because there are a lot of factors involved in whether people buy at an art fair. There could be something with the local economy. Let's say people got laid off at jobs in the area or there could be some other reason like the event didn't advertise as much this year as in previous years. The event is under different management. The event moved locations. All all sorts of different things. And so you can't necessarily say, well, it's definitely a market saturation issue, unless you're hearing people time and time again coming back into your booth saying, well, I don't really have room for something. I've already bought so much of your work. If you're hearing that over and over again, and you experience a significant sales decrease, then it's time to move on. All right, well, if you found this video helpful and would like to learn more tips on art fairs, watch this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.